they're very talented and they, and they play hard. You know, they, uh, there's some newness, you know, about the systems that they're employing this season. You know, they're very, very talented on defense, you know, similar to our defense, very, very talented, but, you know, they're doing a lot of, a lot of things for the first time. You know, they have a new, new coordinators, uh, you know, a new staff, you know, so some new things, you know, so there, it's been a, you know, developmental process, but they're very, very talented uh, on defense. They bring a lot of pressure. Against Minnesota, they probably pressured uh, at least uh, 60 to 70 percent of the time. So they create a real challenge, uh, you know, for your offensive front. Uh, offensively, you know, the quarterback's a great athlete. He's an experienced player. They have a big, uh, talented offensive line, very athletic offensive line with good size, uh, some skill makers uh, on the perimeter. You know, but uh, that you know, you don't look at the scoreboard. You watch and play, and you realize that it'll be a challenge for our football team because uh, they're very, they're a very very talented football team and still playing very hard. You know, you mentioned that that Illinois hasn't had the record they wanted, but do you ever address the fact that one, they haven't won for a while, and you said yet they're still playing hard, and two, uh, it is their senior day. Well, I think they'll see those things on film. They look at a lot of a lot of film on the opponent, and they can certainly see the quality of the play that's on the field and the quality of the players. And you know, obviously we're we, we have to win if we want to go into postseason play. So we're going to be ready to play. So it's going to be about us. But they watch the film and they get the scouting reports and they know. Uh, the the challenge. Anything jump out that you did really really well that you hope is a good sign for the rest of the season? Well, I think we were able to st- uh, to stay two dimensional on offense. We were able to go out and uh, establish a run game. We rushed for a little bit over uh, two hundred yards, and we protected our quarterback a little bit better, and 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 uh, pitched and caught, and and we were successful at it, and able to stay two dimensional on offense. I thought uh, was was key uh, last Saturday. And we want to stay, you know, uh, two dimensional uh, offensively, and we had a lot of guys on defense that have been banged up that still are not completely healthy yet, but they were healthier than they have been particularly across the defensive line. So those two things really stick out in my mind, and hopefully we can build on those and be an even better team this Saturday. Was that about as emotional just because of what you've been through? And I know I, I saw your comment to the Big Ten Network afterwards, and you said something to the effect of that's kind of what college football is all about. Uh, but I think, I think and correct me if I'm wrong, you were referring to you know, just kind of battling through adversity and, and getting a harder win like that. Uh, was that about as emotional a win as you've had at Purdue? Well, we had a lot of fun. Uh, we, had, we had a blast, and it was a, an emotional win for a football team. Uh, I think uh, and on the post-game interview, I may have been referencing to uh, the, the courage of, of Robert Marv and, and uh, Ralph Bolden, you know, guys playing in, in, a, in a ball game you know, with the circumstances they've had from an injury standpoint, I think really exemplifies what you know, college football is all about. You know, guys that want to be out there with their teammates helping them win and, and uh, you know, really doing the extraordinary. But, uh, but certainly it was a, an emotional win and an emotional ball game. And we, we just had a blast. We really did. We let it all hang out and it played well in all three phases. And, and our guys were into it for the whole uh, 60 minutes. And we just had, just had an absolute blast. And, and winning is living. And we got to live uh, some on Saturday. Offensive line played uh, a pretty strong game um, on, on Saturday. What, what was the key to doing that? And what's going to be the key to uh, sustaining that the next two weeks? Well, uh, I think... You know, obviously our guys were ready to play, and we have guys that have played their position now for a year. We came into the season with a talented uh, offensive line, but not a real experienced offensive line. Very few starts uh, collectively. Uh, Some guys that had been moved over uh, in the the latter part of their careers from the defensive side of the ball, you know, so there wasn't a lot of experience. uh, uh, There wasn't a lot of synchronization, you know, at the position. They've played together some now, and they've improved. Uh, It's a very athletic offensive line and a more experienced offensive line, significantly more experienced now than we were at the beginning of the season. And, and for some of these guys, the light is coming on in some of the, the technical aspects of their game. And that's huge, uh, particularly at the offensive line position. So we're getting better. Uh, there is some talent there. We're more experienced now, and we're improving.